Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. Last time we went to Mycidia, figured out that we need to come to this island to get the Black Mask. And so this is the tropical island which we actually came to last video. So now it's time to traverse this crazy island cave. And we run into, I don't know, are these enemies new? Uh, definitely the dual heads are not new, but the dual deads, the ones in the background? Those could be new. I don't recall running into them on this LP specifically. But this is a good opportunity to show off my new weapons I bought back in my city here. That orange paintbrush that Maria used is actually the Flame Lance. There's the ice bow that Layla just used. And um, the axe that guy was using is the Ogre Killer. And coincidence, these are ogres. Even though they're called dual heads, they're ogres. Well, I think they're not really ogres, but you get what I'm saying. They're big mother effers. They go down to the Ogre Killer. Sure. Let's see, up here, I think there's some more treasure. Okay, time to run into some flans. I know you guys have been waiting for this. So you think, well, you think the yellow one is, you know, maybe not weak to thunder, but he is the thunder one. So the best way to deal with these actually is to hit all, even though they're not all weak to the same element. That's the best way to handle them. The red ones are weak to thunder, the yellow ones are weak to blizzard. As you can see, my attacks are ineffective, but when I hit thunder, this should kill off all the red ones. Should, if I remembered correctly. Yes, it did. And then hitting blizzard should kill off the rest of them being yellow ones. If I have my color coordination down, that should be correct. Huzzah! Huzzah! And we'll probably be running into plenty more of those. This is gonna be back to me uh, editing out battles, but. I don't know, I'll show a few to start off, but we're definitely going to get back to the editing out battles because this is one of those dungeons that could potentially take a while regardless of random battles. There's a lot of, there's only five floors, but there's a lot of backtracking and whatnot we're going to do while we're here. And awesome, thunder level for Furion, that's always fun. Let's take a gander, we got another high potion, awesome, let's go back down here, we'll head east or west or whatever direction this is and I think we're going this way yeah there's a lot of treasures here so I'm trying not to miss any and we will eventually run into some new monsters that I will show off I just don't know and it might not be till the next floor that I actually get to that point but we'll see luckily we're almost done here on the first floor just one more treasure and there it is so now we head back north to that stairs like I said no back north around here to these stairs so you can just see this is going to be one of those dungeons where it's going to be hard for me to start talking about anything because I'm going to cut out all the damn battles. I'll just try to sound as interesting as possible in between each of these areas. And so, I just wanted to point out that this floor has two different exits. And for the sake of completeness, I will be showing both of them. This one actually leads to a dead end eventually, but I want to show it off. I mean, it is a dead end in the sense that I can't go any further when I get there, but it's not like a dead, dead end where it was just pointless to go to. You'll see in a minute. We're almost there. Up one more, and here we are. The first floor. Tropical island, full of masked weirdos. Ooh, looky your weird face. Why you weary no mask? I weary no mask because I am no ugly. Ooh, what do we have here? Where are you coming from? I coming from below, sir. And most of these guys just say the same stuff. I'm not going to talk to every single one, but yeah. Um, well actually, there is an interesting thing here. This guy right here, who has a different color outfit on, is actually a shop. An item shop. Okay, well, I don't really need any items right now. I guess I could buy some ethers. Let's buy a couple, just for the hell of it. Um, this one is also a different color. He sells weapons, interesting. Uh, all of which are pretty weak compared to what I bought back at Mycidia. But hey, for the sake of completeness, let's buy one of each, just to have one. And this Gaia drum, it actually summons Earthquake, and I'm not going to buy one only because I know I have one coming up in a treasure box. Anything else interesting you guys have to say? Nope, looks like we're done here already. Yeah, so this is just an interesting little area I wanted to show off. So to get back, let's go ahead and use Warp. Show, show how I use that off a little bit. I don't even know if I've even used that in this LP like at all. This is just to avoid random battles. It's really not that long long of a walk to get back. Um, one more. Or actually, 
Nope. One more. Damn it. Damn it. Keep looking at him. Stop it. Stop it. You're wasting time. Not that, there's, not that there's a whole lot of time in this video, but just stop wasting time, damn it. We're back here to B2, so let's head over to the other exit. That I was talking about before I went down the other exit. Got a Scorched Tome. I'll definitely be putting that Scorched Tome on Maria later, just so I can try it out. You can think of Scourge kind of like Bio from other Final Fantasy games, even though it's not where it, nowhere near as useful. And I got a couple blind tomes, which I already have a few of those from enemy drops, so those won't be that useful to me at this point. And then you see there's another blind tome. These first couple floors are pretty long, so we're almost, almost through the meat of this dungeon, even though there's still quite a bit of more uh, trekking we have to do. Let's see, we got some garlic in that chest. I believe all we gotta do is get around to those stairs now. Yep, just gotta get over there. I wish there was more new enemies to show off, but I'm finding these damn dual heads, deads, and... and these red and yellow jellies. That's pretty much all I've been fighting this whole time. It's getting kind of irritating. So, I think we're gonna go down here first. Oh, here's a new enemy. A wild horn. In fact, are they new? I think I fought those back on the overworld, back by the desert area. I'm not exactly sure. I'll... I don't remember. Let's just go the way we're supposed to go, get our treasure, and head back down after we fight a monster in a box. Which I hella forgot this was a monster in a box. Um, and since it's all undead as usual, we'll just flame their asses to hell. That's what we always do. What do we do when we see undead? We... Shoot them in the head, shoot them in the head, or you burn them. I mean, those are the basic two concepts, just dealing with undead enemies in any game. So as with B2, B4, this floor has a bunch of different exits. Oh, and look, and more new enemies finally, some poison toads. In fact, I don't think these are new either. I believe I fought these back on the overworld as well. But hey, let's show them off in the dungeon. Some more new enemies in this dungeon to show off for once. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Anyway, this level has multiple exits, just like... Just like B2 had, but mostly we're just getting treasures this time, we're not just going to a crazy weird dead end. So, here we are back in B4, and we head back down. It's nice to see some different enemies, but it's still no more new enemies yet, it's getting kind of irritating. Where's all the new enemies? I thought there was more than just a couple. Get some sleep grass and a guy drumming a monster in a box, yay, something else I could talk over. Oh look, wild horns and poison toads, so whoopee freaking do. Man, is there going to be anything new in this place? I could have sworn there were some more new enemies in this place. Honestly, I don't remember exactly what I've actually shown in the LP though, so for all I know, I didn't show any of these guys already. So it's your first time seeing them, even though I've fought tons of them. Either way, it'd be nice if I could run into something new. Not these damn poison toads, see? I'm just going to talk right over this because it's so simple. Death to the poison toad, and Furion got some HP, awesome -oh. And north we go, back we must head. And I would use warp, but using warp when you're going down a floor, then back up a floor, then back down a floor, it kind of throws throws off the exits when you warp, so... I didn't really want to have to deal with that and get all disoriented. So, we're back anyways, it didn't take that long. Yeah, there is still two more exits on this floor. But we're gonna head to... wait. Not this one, right? No, that's just heading back. I don't want to get lost. I don't want to miss the staircase, though. I was thinking this would be the last exit coming up, but there's actually one more after this, so hold on. Gotta get down here. Oh, this one was quick and painless. Just grab a chest and back up we go. That was easy. And we head over here to the east, and we'll be done here momentarily. Oh wait, don't forget that. Thousand gil, awesome. And if you can, if you can die. And if you can believe it. I was trying to say, and if you can believe it, we're here we are on the last floor, finally. Jeez, I couldn't spit it out. Luckily I had a battle, so I could re- Gain my composure, so we go in this door, go a little bit north, and here's a rhino. Now, I don't think this battle's that hard, but just for the hell of it, I'm gonna go ahead and just cast Cure on everyone, just to be safe. Good God Mask! Hmm. I didn't think I was gonna have to do any voices in this video. So we got some big horns, which are... Look like the wild horns, but they're just different color. Um, what do I want to do? This, this battle isn't, like, terribly difficult. I think I'm just gonna attack one, go with some fire on another. I mean, might as well make this battle really interesting. I don't wanna. Let's still gonna try holy out on one. I mean, let's go ahead and make it a little bit interesting, like I said. 
Why just straight up beat them to death? Okay, well, Holy's weak right now since I haven't leveled it up. I should have known that was gonna happen. Way to show off Holy in the grandest of stages. Wait till I level it up, then you'll get to see the ass that it kicks. These guys hit pretty hard, but because of my HP is up pretty high now, their big attacks aren't that big of a worry. I'm not exactly sure if these guys have a weakness. Might as well throw some different magic at them and see what hurts them the most. I wasn't paying attention to how much fire did exactly. It seemed like Layla's Ice Bow did a lot, so hopefully Blizzard might be their weakness. It does not look like fire is their weakness, that's for sure. 200 on one enemy seems incredibly low. But either way, one one big horn is down. That's one less attack I have to endure. So this battle shouldn't take too much longer as soon as I decide my exact strategy. And it looks like none of my elements are particularly strong against these guys. So I'll just throw in magic where I feel like throwing it in. And I could be using Layla's magic, but... Eh, what's the point? What's the bloody point? Go ahead and kill Layla. She's the most useless party member I have anyways, because I won't be using her for the rest of the game. I mean, sure, I'll be using her for now, but I think this might be the last time you get to use her, though. Not this place, but after she leaves your party the next time, I don't think she comes back ever again. So any more leveling and stuff that I bother to do, it's not really worth it. Le ah, granted, I still have to use it for another dungeon. I'm not done with her yet. I still gotta keep her useful for at least one more dungeon. And now here I am resorting to just regular attacks again, because I didn't really want to drag this out for too long. With all the battles I'm gonna edit out, I wanted to drag it out, but I don't want to drag it out for a ridiculous amount of time. So let's just, let's just end this. Let's end this. Cease this. So down with the big homes. Down they go. Level up here and there, increases, whatnot, whatevers. So let's grab our treasure, which we all know what we're gonna get from that. The Black Mask! Yeah, yeah! Okay! What? Black Mask is ours. Of course we had to run to another random battle, but right before we're about to leave, this is exactly what happened to me in the way I got the White Mask, too. But this time, I'm gonna go ahead and show the battle. Why not? I've already spent a whole crap load of time editing out, editing out the rest of these battles. Why not? Go one more, just for good measure, because this, my friends, will probably be the end of this video as soon as I get the F out of this place. Yeah, I'm thinking it's gonna be. Yep, there's a teleporter just like the white mask had, and it'll get us the F out of this place. Back outside the tropical island. Huzzah! So now that we have the black mask, we can take it to a different statue, just like we did the white mask. And hopefully it'll lead us to the third item, which is a rod made of crystal. Yeah, let that one soak in for a minute. So next time on Let's Play Pharmacy 2, I'll take you to the place where we can get the crystal rod. I might just meet you right back in this spot right here and go from there. I don't know. Maybe. I'll decide between videos. But until then, I'll shut up. Peace.